Must say a girl just a tell me about a little bad man, hungry belly boy, we are talking about my jewelry fear. I'm there and I want my house them. Send back your money, we don't want no feature, eat that better. You can't come out of New York. This is the earth, I'm gonna hold the focus on some. And I'm a refund business, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, this is my dad. And I stop trying to come out of the other investors their money. Also we're gonna talk about dancehall artist Coyote responding to some threats that were made against him after he was paid three thousand dollars to do a song. I think it was like a feature or something but Coyote must never come through with theme apartheid and the man them same can't come back in New York and them thing there. So we're gonna talk about it. And also we're gonna talk about Vibes Cartel responding to a youth who made some claims that the jewelry that the entertainer was wearing is actually fake. Also we're gonna talk about Boom Boom says that walk and talk He's definitely going to get the Vibes Cartel interview and I think him actually say I must see next week or something like that. So what talk about it. Also I'm going to talk about Sharte allegedly reacting after her name was brought up on the Vibes Cartel interview with Keisha Kior. And also I'm going to talk about L.A. Lewis signs a record breaking $10 million endorsement deal with a Jamaican car rental firm. Also I'm going to talk about a female fan crying after a photo of 450 allegedly getting engaged are married was posted on the internet and also we're gonna talk about shalom giving thanks for life after being ambushed while he was on tiktok live and also we're gonna talk about spice getting called out over her recent comments aimed at dancehall artist sg venom i don't know sg venom i am sing the song i tell the girl about him or pisss in her motor pan her face or something like that so somebody said because spice sings certain type of music she not for really talk you understand so I play the video, only can tell me anything. Also, I'm going to talk about Bounty Killer urging artists to plan for retirement. And this is after him and Shaggy donated over a million dollars to Luton and Stitchy. And also, I'm going to talk about Vibes Cartel spotted in almost one million dollars worth of clothing during his recent interview. So before I'm going to further into the topics, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And click the notification bell. Put it on all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. This is definitely a good look for the seven star general so the first thing we're going to talk about is shorty seemingly reacting after vibes cartel did an interview with keisha k all right my people so you don't know the interview actually premiered on youtube yesterday and maybe about an hour after it premiered we see shorty go so boom and basically make a post on our instagram status you understand now remember shorty name did come up during the interview and it is alleged that you know, shorty gig cartel bun and them something. They see, you know, say them there the little room as well, swirl around. Now the girl, Keisha Kier, she did ask cartel directly if shorty gig bun. You understand? And his response was that him don't even like to see bun because I guess him have a, 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 a call it now, a phobia. You understand what I mean? So you don't know. It, it it would all it would kinda seem like cartel as a shorty game bone, you understand? But you don't know, you kinda have to read between the lines and stuff like that. I don't think he said it out boldly like that, but I name come up, Keisha called shorty name directly in the interview. You understand my people so we see shorty goes up boom now and make that post here. Yeah? Where a woman was basically saying that, you know, people look upon her like she had a villain and how she look upon people like them are the clown, you understand? So it's kinda like a shady type of post. Mama showing the sound you can't see what I go on. Okay to be the villain in the made up story that these people got going on in their mind. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you right now, I'm okay. I'm okay that in your story I'm the villain. Cause you the clown in mine. <laughs> All right, my people, so that's how we shorty post, you see it, and as I say, people always say she do this and that behind Vibes Cartel back and thing, but, you know, I am not here to, you know, try to pass a judgment upon nobody or nothing, you see it. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about quick and fast is Vibes Cartel making a video, and this video is in response to a youth who same drill really fake, right? I see a video over up on TikTok, not, not sure if I the same video Cartel, you know, at all, but, but him say a girl make him know say a youth the same jewelry fake and them something they see it um cartel obviously 
doesn't like that because him feel like say yo that you the bad mind for you talk about him truly and as me say me see a video on tiktok me sorry me never see it but i saw it go me not sure if i the same video where the youth are talk about cartel and where well moist and night or something like that you know say cartel get him truly from the guy named artwell driller or something like that so big up artwell anyway um i could get to the video when you can hear cartel address the youth are straight up and i make him know same bad mind and thing listen to this yeah, you know, see a girl just said to me, boy, I look like a bad man, hungry belly boy, we are talking about my jewelry feet. I'm there and I want to house them. And I say, oh, well, when people are hungry, you know, it's a blood clot thing, you know, it's a hell of a thing when you're hungry and stuff like that. If you're not strong, you know, you're just bad man and I'm corrupt, though. No? Yeah, man, I 85,000 for my jewelry, them, man. I'm not even talking about the Rolex and the ring on my buy when me in a prison. Yeah, I'm here there. Yeah, da. I mean, even after I bought the vehicle, the moon and the houses and the land. And no matter how fat, I touch the road nine night, uh, just flash with down four million dollars. You know it go? Yeah, cause I, 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 I say make a bad man waste boy like you know. We like, if you know, say man the rich and happy, you see it? Yeah, man, say make a hungry belly boy like you know, dog. So let me say, yeah, well, we got guys out there, shut them out. Yeah, man, so at the end of the day, you have them people out there who love watch people money, watch people jewelry, and we just love watch people in general. Even if it's fake, I say it go. You understand me? I say, cartel more than have enough money can buy real, or if you want to buy fake a fame business, that but. I don't know, cartel address it, my people. Only can't tell more anything. Can. Obviously, when you see on the caption, Hungry Belly is not an excuse to be a bad mind. <laughs> hey, one thing with cartel, you know, that really have faced, you know. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Coyote Zine, my people. So, dancehall artist Coyote was paid 3000 US dollar for do a song, right? Or for do a feature upon a song or something like that. Now, the man, them say, a long time, them pay him the money. They actually put out a video. I want Coyote say, yo, make me get back my money. And you can tell say, the man name serious because guess what? Footer Hype actually get involved and I tell Coyote say, yo, run back the man name money. Footer Hype also want Coyote to tell him say, yo, man will book you and then you know how the rest go. You understand? So Coyote is now responding to those claims. Before I play the Coyote video, right? I'm going to actually play with the man name have to say and then we're going to move to where Coyote have to say. Because I tell you, Coyote, I make them know say, them can't step to him with no badness talk upon top of that them no deal with refund or him no deal with refund you understand so there's no way them are gonna get back their money so i don't know how the man them are gonna feel about it when they hear this or them see the video or whatever but listen what the man named it say first dance hall artiste owes saint vincent promoter 3000 usd things say i joke but bro look how long me send the money forward come here brother three grand me send a free feature pussy what you feel like yeah, styling thing. I want song you have bad, bro. Listen, the man. Send back your money. We don't want no feature. Eat that, brother. You can't come New York. You can't forward a New York, Florida. No way, brother. That clip. That clip for your bad, bro. Fuck it. You don't burn the bridge right now. We don't even more talking, bad, bro. Send back your money forward, Run brother. Back money. Run, Run back your money, bad, bro. We have, we have, we're better fact, we have transact. We can show you, say, a cheap grand. We send it for your feature, bad, bro. I don't lie. Tell the man, bro, the oh, look how long money, how long money the pan hole, bad bro. Right. <laughs> Dog, listen what you do, bad bro. Let's forward back your money and I eat that. I eat that, brother. Fuck it. I don't lie, brother. Leave, brother. Let's listen. Send back my money when I have no feature, you. All right, my people. So, when you hear them say, Coyote banned from New York and Florida and all them things and they want back their money. Now let us get to what Coyote have to say because he will not be giving them back their money and him say them just have to wait till him, till him produce the song. You know him say good songs not just come so. Him is not a he that artist or him an artist who just put out any or anything. Listen what Coyote have to say. And I'm a refund business, brother. And stop trying to come on the noses and stop trying to bring down the artists, brother. And I'm a business, dear. And I'm going to go around the show, man. Remember that, man. Remember that, man. Hear that? You see what I'm saying? I'm still going to say, I'm going to refund right now, man. Hear that? Yeah, man. I went to that day already, man. That's why I hear it, man. Hear that? 
All right, my people. So that's what's going on. You see it. I don't know how the money I'm going to feel when them see that video there. But you know from a man pay some money, you have to forward and deliver where you need to deliver. That's just business. You see it. And boy, I don't even know how this is going to work out, my people. Only can tell me when you think about this in the comment section. You see it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel. Letting the world know that Imam Popcorn good. You understand? During this interview, he also make it be known that Imam Popcorn talk all the time. You understand what I say, my people? Obviously, them would attack over the phone, cartel call him or him call cartel or whatever it may be. But I could get to this story so I understand a little bit more as to what's going on. So the article is saying, Vibes Cartel explains why Popcorn was shaded by little Addy, me and him good now. In his latest interview, Vibes Cartel told Keisha Kayor that some members of the Gaza Empire camp turned their backs on him after he was incarcerated. According to the DJ, his family was the only ones mainly on his side. A lot of people, especially in the entertainment industry from my camp, he outlined. However, he pointed out that he did not need anything from anyone. He stated that some of the people would turn their backs on him while he was behind bars are trying to draw close to him nowadays, but he won't let them around him. It's too late. The door is closed, Cartel says. Aside from those who switch on him, Cartel talk about his daily lifestyle, music, and what the feeling was like when he discovered that he would be leaving prison. Now out for two months, Cartel expressed that a lot of people go to prison and, be and become members of new gangs, sending them out into the population as gangsters in bigger organizations. Later on in the interview, Cartel was asked about Popcorn being shaded by Little Addy. Cartel responded by saying, I would say that every relationship of up and sideways, members say Popcorn I'm a son, you know. Me and him good you know. We talk uh, everything. In the interview done in Montego Bay, Cartel also said Movada is his brother as they are also on good terms now, despite their fallout in the past. So that's what's going on, my people. You know, so that's just some of the interview. But the good thing is that the man say man popcorn good, you see it. So all of the people them where don't believe it, then you know, when you hear it from Cartel Mouth himself, you see me, even though we know some people are going to say, sure, we want to see a photo if you really believe it and rate it, here, but a phone no business that. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Spice being called out as it relates to some talks that she made recently, right? So I remember about, what, I think uh, about a month ago or maybe about three weeks ago, the youth named SG Venom, him, they come out with a song where I talk about, say, you know, he want to do certain things to girl, give them golden show and this and that. And, you know, one bag of thing. Let's just say him did want to do one bag of thing to her. Now, Spice it up on live and she wasn't directly talking about the entertainment. Well, I don't know if she might talk about him, but she never did talk directly to him. But based upon certain things, what she said, so she now met no man, P.I.S.S. Panar. You don't know, all the people. You know, bring it to him foot then, I guess you can say. So I him shall talk about and them something there. Because you know the song did a trend and you know people are talk about it, people that share them opinion on it and you know Spice says she not really depend on them something there. She's a old school lady and thing. Now a guy put out a video and says Spice can't really talk because you don't know the type of music where she do and them thing there. And I guess he's saying um, the message that Spice has said would be good, but she's the, not the right person for deliver it. So, they, you know, they would have said right message, wrong messenger, something like so. Anyway, I could get to that clip here. Only can tell me if you not agree with what this guy is saying in the comment section, is it? Spice bun out. All right, what you know? And this episode of Jamaica is not a normal place. See? Somebody scrolled on TikTok a while ago. And... In relation to his song where you do what you hear, where boss come like in, I don't even know the artist name, but he come like in out to take the free, freaky business to another level. So, it's like me and school pan sitting there now, and I see a particular person, a bona fire. And I said, you know, like a tolerator, you know, them is not for this, you know. But then me look into it and me I said, Jaja. Me say, of all the persons in a Jamaica, of all the people them who live in a Jamaica, 
me not think say uh me not think say a spice should have come and I speak about this. Spice, me not think say you should have come and I speak about this. Cause after me see you can do one certain kind of behavior past stage already. In a what year yeah. And there are other things too. But let's just talk about the most recent. After me see you can do certain type of behaviors, what do you hear? Yeah. stage over popcorn um and roly face. Who is you now? If you come here so and I come like you want to create a movement against what this youth are sing about. I am not here to say that we are a sing boat. We are for that or we uphold with that. But, I don't prefer somebody else to talk about it, not you. Please, I beg you, do. Leave it. Make somebody else talk about it. We take it more serious, spice. If you talk about it, we can't take it serious. Because mm -mm. the youth ya, with the song, ya, he broke about three red light. But what do you with for your behavior spice? About seven red light you broke. So you want me. Please, me I beg you, do. Make somebody else talk about this. You not talk about it. Please, God will bless you. Leave it alone. Do. All right, my people. So that's what's going on. More than if you not agree or not. And as it relates to Spice giving her opinion, I mean, just like what me always say, everybody have the internet, everybody free for say what they want for say, you see me? And not because... She sing whether you know matter the type of song what she do then. You know, she have a choice for choose what and what people can do to her. You understand me and say so. You know, the woman say what she have to say and thing, but obviously you know some people are gonna say oh spice. You know, fair give them advice because you sing both skin out. Remember people always have born out spice, you know, because she sing both skin out, them type of appears underneath she sing and them something but you know, when she do the positive songs, how much I want to go out, they go listen it. That's the thing. Anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is L.A. Lewis, who signed a deal for $10 million with a car rental company. You understand? This is definitely a good look for the Seven Star General. So when I see it on the screen right now, Swift Car Rental signs L.A. Lewis for $10 million and thing. So when I can, you know, put out some congratulations for L.A. Lewis car, this is definitely a good look. And people People might wonder how him do it. Well, him no office stay relevant over these years. You understand? So that's what's going on. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the Jamaica Labour Party, who is now urging SSL owners to pay back Usain Bolt and all the other investors who lost their money at SSL, right? So let us get to the story so we understand what's going on, is it? So it's a JLP urges SSL owners to pay back investors, including Bolt, the governing Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, is urging the proprietors at Stocks and Securities Limited SSL to ensure that Jamaicans, including the legendary Usain Bolt, are restored with funds they invested in the embattled private sector entity. The JLP made a call in a statement to the media on Friday. The JLP is also chastising People's National Party PNP operatives who it says have been attempting to use false propaganda to connect the, govern the government to wrongdoings at SSL. The the JLP says it notes that some investors at SSL have received restitution. However, the party says it's deeply concerned that Usain Bolt and several investors have not yet gotten back funds. The JLP insists these individuals, including the iconic Jamaican track star, get back every dollar they invested in SSL. JLP Deputy General Secretary Sina Charles Sinclair says the party notes that an individual who was employed by SSL and reported confessed to stealing the funds have been charged and is before the court but mr sinclair says more needs to be done all right people so we're in a thing seeing on a feel like said the government now speaking out is going to help you see and bolt get back in money well not just you see and bolt because we can't just care about one person but you don't know him a day you know they did a public figure the, the big money and the thing so you know people more are worried about fee money because maybe if them did forgot so boom and pay back you see and bolt now they wouldn't be able be able for pay back the rest of investors because them start pay back some people well allegedly when i see nobody come out and say them get back their money yet but 
as opposed maybe people want to stay anonymous or whatever. I don't know. But you can tell me anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Selector Boom Boom revealing that Vibes Cartel is going to give work and talk the interview. Now, me did play a video yesterday where um CM Boom Boom, he might say, because Walk and Talk did make a speech during his interview, not interview, his podcast with Jeffrey when them did do them, let's be honest, podcast. Yeah, man, they make a talk, say Vibes Cartel, if him come out of prison, him can't run back the place or something like that. So Boom Boom did a say cartel, I guess, feel away about that and whatever it may be. Yes, it. So now Boom Boom does want the people him for know, say, cartel i go do the interview a voice note was actually put out and i think a quest times missy put out the voice note where you know somebody asks boom boom if cartel now do the interview again zin i don't really know who who i asked but over there some seat anyway check out the little voice note here and only can tell me anything is it mm -hmm. yeah man i'm get him interview man that is a must man i just show the teacher kind of busy man but i get it man I believe i go one day and next week him get it Alright, and of course, you know, so because cartel goes a woman, do our next interview, you know, so that kind of does show off people, make them feel like same now, go do the interview as well. Because it has been a couple of days well since, you know, we hear a cartel like, go give him an interview. But I guess when the time forward, the time forward, you see my people. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel, who was spotted in almost a million dollars worth of clothing during his recent interview with Keisha K. Or I understand, and over upon Quest Time, them basically are sure how much money cartel clothing we him did have on. You understand what I mean? say? And when you can see it on the screen, the um, Louis V pants and Louis V um, jacket him have on. Zine and him have on a Balenciaga track signature. I say it name? Yeah, Balenci Balenciaga track signature, which cost $150,000. You understand my people? And you don't know the denim jeans, the Louis V denim jeans cost $472,000. And them said the denim jeans jacket cost $326,000. Now that's almost a million dollars, is it? So that's our cartel did a beat. I'm most recent interview with Keisha Kerr. And the only reason why I even know this more people are because Missy Quest Times post it. And of course, you know, say, well, if people are react to it and them thing, they see it. Not really care how much a man wants to spend on himself or how much he wants to buy clothes for. You know, I just saw it go. Because as I always say, we in a pocket watch around here. A man free for spend any amount of money he wants to spend. And I'm pretty sure in the comment section, you got to have some people that say, boy, why am I for spend so much? You know, you got to have people that be judgmental. I don't even go in the comment section, but I know in there might be very festive because people love watch people money you know anyway remember know anything about this oh cartel it post a video my people are sure say him get the iphone 16 pro max and remember about what uh, think about a month ago cartel it put out a video a big up samsung i said samsung better than iphone i think him have like the um samsung s25 ultra or something like that zine well him get a iphone 16 pro max now so Make a jump in and a clip here so you can hear a cartel officer say it. Mm. Gaza Nation and Samsung users just get the iPhone 16 Pro Max. But yes, I know, I still Samsung for life. I'm out. No, I'm out. That's it, man. Mm. This. The iPhone user them I over. I don't know what's wrong with them, but oh, nobody laugh off on the but Chris it pull this turn it on to me. Uh. Yeah, man, me personally still, you know, I love both phones, you know, I actually have an iPhone and a Samsung. Some people feel the iPhone better, some people feel the Samsung better. Me personally, I don't think I can do without either, may I tell you the truth. But for me personally, I think software-wise, you know, like, with, with, with like smoothness then, I would get the iPhone over it. But you see, when it comes to picture quality, I would get the S the, the, um, the Samsung over it, you understand? And Samsung have like a crazy zoom. I tell you, the zoom is incredible. But 
Let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is 450 and a female fan crying after he posted up that photo that you're seeing on the screen. You understand what I mean? say? Now I don't know if it's a wedding scene or what, but obviously this is a music video. Well, me feel it's for a music video or a song or something, isn't it? Me? me not think 450 tidy knot or anything of the sort. Zine, it could be possibly, you know, but I don't think that. But the ladies, them, they're acting very crazy, I can say. Because you know, 450 is like the, 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 what do I call it now? The younger version of Dexter Dabs. So a lot of females love him off. You understand what I say? So a video was put out on the internet with a female crying over this same photo here when I'm showing my people. So I'm going to jump right to this clip. Only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. <laughs> people so that little picture there cause a bag of controversy not controversy but it made the ladies them getting at them feelings and all of that you see it so I saw a thing go why them girl in a easy you know and the thing about it I'm pretty sure it's just for a music video and thing but either way one of most knows a 450 of him woman or him woman either way I'm mean, not think them artists are single so I don't know I'm to them girl here, but let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shalom giving thanks for life after he was recently ambushed while on TikTok live. You understand my people? Everybody would have seen the video now and you don't know him end up a losing phone and him also make a new um, TikTok account and thing. You understand? So he make a post over Instagram page basically saying every day above ground is a blessing and lesson at the same time. Only thing me never expect a one of the teeth my Phone, I'm a bag of tangy and my bottle of water, but shalom. Yes, it's so that way. I'm to say he's giving thanks to be alive. And I don't know, my people, if this is a prank, if it really fit fake or whatever, you understand. But you don't know, a lot of persons are laugh if I really, you know, if it real, real, and I'm not joking. Then, you know, he must watch himself. You understand me? I say, my people, him definitely have to watch himself. Watch where he must step on the internet because it's obvious that. You know, people them know your location, so you have to find somewhere else and thing, but Shut up. I shut up. That's what I just did in the got me a judge and I find a blood clap page. I'll be a fucking right away. I mean that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Let me know anything about that thing here if you don't think it's real as it relates to the man named run up on Shalom. Yes, it. Let me know in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Bounty Killer who is urging artists to plan for retirement. And this was while he was giving, well, him and Shaggy. Well, Shaggy wasn't there, but Bounty was handing over 10,000 US dollar check to um, Lieutenant Stitchy wife. Yes, it. So I could get to that story here so I understand what's going on. So it's a Bounty Killer wants artists to plan for retirement financially financial assistance comes in for recovering stitchy bounty killer has urged artists to create good timeless music and invest financially as the day will come when your music will be your retirement fund being in the industry for decades the dancer legend shared that having good musical catalog is a sound investment for artists anybody with a career you have to make sure you work and you put down something for retirement but as an artist you have to make sure you budget how you earn and how you spend you can't spend more than you earn music lasts forever but income not lasts forever but thank god i have music and longevity he told the weekend star there are some artists where their music no make sense today and them never see if where them did have so them hungry thank god i have a good catalog so even if i should be delinquent today i have a good royalty to collect because i have a strong catalog he added bounty killer also stressed the importance of artists is making long-term financial investment investment is good you always have to invest so all what talk about bees care over house bees depreciates so no matter how much bees you have you got to have good strong collateral and investment said bounty killer the artist made these statements in an heartwarming handover of a u.s ten thousand dollar approximately 1.57 million check to assist gospel reggae sing j lieutenant stitchy who recently suffered 
further brain hemorrhage, which left him unresponsive. With a GoFundMe account created, created by his wife, Leng, to assist with his speciali specialized long-term health care, the aim was to raise 100,000 U.S. Upon seeing the initiative, the combined effort from Shaggy and through the Bounty Foundation, heartfelt support was given to the ailing artist in appreciation of his music, friendship, and legacy according to Bounty Killer. The check, which was handed over to Bounty Killer and his manager, Paul Banky Giscom, was received by Leng on Stitches behalf at PAJ Imports Limited on Constant Spring Road, St. Andrew, on Thursday. In a tearful response, Leng expressed appreciation for the gesture while highlighting that there's hope for Stitchy as his condition has improved. We give God thanks for what he's doing in life because I know a lot of ugly rumors are going out there, there and I want to dispel every single one of them right now because Stitchy is alive and well and he's recovering greatly. He's hearing, his eyes are open, he responds to voices that he knows and he's on the road to recovery, she said. Bounty Killer assured Leng that his initiative will open doors for many more similar donations. Bounty Killer describes Stitchy as a role model and a legend and revealed the very close relationship he shared with the artist who also served as a great inspiration to his career. He then pleaded to the music industry to come together and join in on collaborative efforts to make a chain link to help each other. So that's what's going on my people. That's not a full article if you don't want to read the full thing you can go up on the Jamaica Star website is it. Anyway that's it you know thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like share and subscribe is it. I'm out.